Thanks, Nora. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Dax. <laughs> this is Clock Districts. He's going to be helping out with commentary. Uh, this is Spyro Year of the Dragon, the uh, original on the, on the PlayStation. Good for, for Year of the Dragon 2024. Yeah. Um, because of the color sheet, I can only do once I'm in the game. I'm going to just start and then I'll tell you when to start the timer after I've done the G code. Because we normally start from uh, movement anyway. It's alright, we don't need to see these cutscenes. Yeah. Who needs plot? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a pretty quick run, only about half an hour ish, hopefully a bit less than that. Um, this game is pretty broken. So there's a, a, a lot of. like the, the, the w I'll do the cheat code first and then I'll start talking because I need to actually read this properly. Oh, look at those fingers uh, fly. Look, look at that, green spyro. Okay. Starting timer in three, two, one, go. Sorry, where's where's Spyro? I don't see him anymore. Yeah, Spyro used to was originally green, but turns out he uh, blended in with the grass. Yeah, well, where? Who was Spore Dragon? There's no dragon here anymore. <laughs> All right. So the way this game basically works is we have to get through four worlds. So this Sunrise Spring is this first world uh, with a whole bunch of levels in it, and. I, in in a like normal playthrough, you would need to collect a lot of eggs. A lot of these uh, eggs that are just scattered around the place. Um, you need a hundred to unlock the final boss. Oh. Um, but in this run, we are not going to be doing that because there is a skip to get into the final boss. So yeah. all I need to do is just reach the end of all of the levels. I'm trying to go for a thing here. Yeah, no, Daxley, Daxley's trying to do a proxy here. Um, they're pretty pre prevalent in this game. Uh, essentially, if you can get Spyro's hitbox stuck inside of another hitbox when it's not supposed to, uh, the game freaks out a little bit, and as, as a safety mechanism, it'll just eject Spyro out. I uh, generally get some really good hide out of them. Thank you for yeah, they, those ones are in the first level are kind of difficult, and I'm not like warmed up yeah. kind of thing, so I wasn't super expecting to get those. But that's, cool. that's all right. Worst case scenario, you can just run around the level. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So pr pretty much every level, with the exception of a, a couple have like a, a skip way of getting through them with a proxy yep. or some hard jump or something and then just like the normal way of going through um and so if you miss the the thing then you can just go the normal way through and it's not generally a huge amount slower yeah uh, so right here, Dactyl is actually going to uh, backtrack on the cave that he's supposed to fly through with that power up uh, and actually skip a whirlwind that generally like stops, that uh, generally takes that power, power up away from me. He's going to go out of bounds uh, and then he's going to go for a swim in air because uh, bodies of water in old games aren't actually bodies of water, it's just a plane uh, and it extends a little bit out of bounds. So if you can get that plane without going back in bounds, you get the swim state. You're going to swim straight to yeah. uh, Seashell Shore, which you require 14 eggs to get normally in this game. Yeah, it's generally, they they took a lot of shortcuts when making the terrain in Sparrow 2 and 3. So a lot of stuff that is like not really supposed to be reachable is just not solid. And yeah. so you can just get, if you can reach places uh, in unintended ways, you can very easily get out of bounds. It's and they kind of underestimated how far and how high you can jump. <laughs> so it's like, there's some places where you just, how did they, how that. It's also worth noting that uh, all of the portals in this game are pretty much, for the most part, underneath where they normally are. So when you've unlocked them, they pop up. Uh, whereas normally, yeah, 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 yeah so they like, pop up. There's some levels that require a certain number of eggs, yep. some that you have to pay for yep. uh, with gems. But if they're not unlocked yet, the loading zone is just stored directly underneath. Yeah, with uh, this first home world here, there's actually like a little mustache that you can see from some angles. Yeah. Uh, we can see it. Uh, once we leave, once we do the first boss, there actually won't be any more of those. And so Dak yeah, will be very, very blind in terms of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, kind of tricky jump here to get into this level more quickly. Yeah, Dak's going to use this wall here just to maintain height, get on top of nice. the next level, uh, Molten Crater, go underneath, and then you can very easily glide. There's that mustache that I'm talking about. Yeah, that's where the portal is. Yep. So normally, like you, you might have seen there, normally you need 10 eggs uh, to get into Molten Crater. Uh, and there'll be a very, very fun proxy in this one yeah, called Wall Proxy. Straight off the ball right there. Nice. nice. First try. Yeah. That's Beautiful. That's one that is like, it's kind of lenient in how to do it. You're, it you is. You don't need to move left or right at all. You just charge and jump and glide at the right time. But I've been struggling with it a bit recently, so very happy yeah. to get that. Yeah, the nice thing about ball proxy is uh, that ball is on a cycle until uh, until it aggro's you. So once you spawn into the once you yeah once you spawn into the level, you can just go. Mm. Uh, and once you use the queue of the little lava pool, you can just go for it, and it's very consistent. Also, note that the color sheet doesn't apply. It is so funny to watch.
Spark glides out of purple and then just phase changes to green. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the color cheats are a little bit of an afterthought, I think. Yeah. Some of the uh, some of the other ones are pretty ugly as well. Like. Oh yeah. But green is the best color. All right, so no proxy in this one. I'm just gonna do a jump that doesn't look like it should be possible. So I'm gonna wait for this to take me up here. There's actually a couple of jumps you can do here. You can actually turn around and like go through that portal that you can see off to the left. You can go through it from the rear end and then just like leave it again. Yeah, that's a weird one as well. You, you don't charge jump, you just like stop charging and carry yeah. the momentum. Into yeah, it's a bit of jump. like a boosted jump, we yeah. like to call it. Momentum conservation jump is what people uh, sometimes call that. Yeah. And then I'm going to do exactly the same swim in air that I did before uh, in order to get into Sheila's Elf, which is the like side character level for this world. Each of the worlds has an unlockable character that you can play as. Um, oh, that didn't make it. Well, okay. Let's try that yeah. again. Normally, you have to pay a bit of money to uh, get them out as well. Just Sheila is 300 gems, but Dak has like 50. Yeah. Yeah, there will be no gem collecting in this run. Well, no intent. Yeah, I mean, there'll be some stuff gems. That happens to collect as I rock yeah. up to. Yeah, we've reached the Australian slash Austrian level. Yeah, the, we're, almost the, we're almost nearly at the first yeah. boss, the, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> the joke here is, uh, so she's a kangaroo, so she's Australian. Australian so and Austria. She lives in the Alps yeah. in Austria <laughs> with, the, with the goats. Yeah. So all of the side characters have different movement mechanics and different techniques. Um, Sheila's obvious thing is jumping high, she's a kangaroo. Um, you can do like a hop in the air, and then if you jump and then land and jump again immediately, you do a big high jump. Um, and this is basically just an escort. We need to kill all the enemies and break these mushroom houses to allow the end of level dude to um, get to his final spot, and yeah. then he'll give us the end. Most of the gameplay is right here. We have to kill all these Rhinox and destroy yeah. their houses so they stop respawning. This section fast uh, is actually kind of tough. Like there, there's a lot of RNG with where they go. And yeah. Is, yeah, it can vary quite a lot. Thanks, Jose. And with that, that is our first home world done. We just got to do the boss. Um, so we're basically going to be doing that pattern three more times um, for the next part of the run. But the first boss, which we're going to get walked to here. Let's head on home. I love how <laughs> Sheila talks to you from the yeah. cage. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to fight a boss called Buzz. He's this green dude who rolls at you. And the way he is Listen coded, carefully. he doesn't, like, he char he like spins at you, he charges at you, but if he, he won't take himself off the edge of the arena, you have to hit him off the edge. When I heard yeah. And so if you stand at the very edge of the arena, he just won't, he'll stop moving immediately. So if I just head jump to the end here, he just stops before he gets me. And then he's also got some attacks that he does with like fire shooting fire at you. But if you just take him off camera, he doesn't do them. Buzz, Buzz is like a cat. If I can't see you, you can't see me. Yeah, he doesn't quite have object purpose. I also love how coming in here, you very quickly reached out to the console. Yeah. The cutscene yeah. crashed. Yeah. Don't, don't bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw your arm just like all leaked out. I the timing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'll probably get some in even way. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. the first boss done. And with that, that is our first home world. And rinse and repeat four times. Three times. Uh, the well, fourth world three more times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. No, three times, yeah. Yeah. All right. Bianca comes over to uh, tell us that we're that we shouldn't be here and to yeah. go away. Leave now. Please leave. Okay, yep. But we're not going to listen. And then turns out that there's a little gap in the scenery here where you can just swim through and get out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, you basically just wedge yourself into the corner and then time uh, a dive at the right time. So it happens like just as you get pushed over the little scenery. And uh, yeah, you get pushed out of bounds and can go straight into Sergeant Bird's base. And going into this portal actually saved se another 700 gems on I top of the 300 we saved from not having to free Sheila. Yeah, if you want to buy all of the side character levels, that's a lot of gems. Uh, excluding Agent 9, it's 2,000. Yeah. 
including Agent 90. If you want a free all four, it's uh, 3,300, which is quite a lot of gems. <laughs> So yeah, Sergeant Burst movement is kind of cool. You fly around. Um, you can make the movement a bit better by holding both so? strafe buttons to like lock his direction. Otherwise, you basically have tank controls and yeah. turns uh, too much. But it just means you have to know where you're going because you can't see the direction you're going in if you're just always holding uh, the direction. Oh, and then there's like specific enemies you want to kill to make the hummingbird Gabrielle uh, follow her path. This far one here. It's funny because in SRT it's the one that's flying in that room. Oh, really? Yeah. Mission of oh, nice knife on the basket. Yeah. <laughs> also, that was the only level where we're going to get more than one egg. Because the middle egg in that yep. level is mandatory. You can't skip it. So the uh, you would normally need to collect 100 eggs to beat the game. We will get 19 in this run. So you'll see uh, a lot less than how that works. Yeah, you can see here you need 25 to get into uh, Spooky Swan. Yeah. Or if your name's Dactyl, you can just go out of bounds. Yeah. Portal's just underneath, as usual, and there's some scenery that isn't solid, so yeah. easy peasy. Pretty much if you can't access it as a casual player, expect it to be not solid. Yeah. Okay, so I have another uh, proxy gun up here, oh, straight nice. off that croc. Nice. Yeah, that's just really skip good. Skip the whole level. Yeah, these go straight to the ends. If you want to see this level done right, uh, tune are. in tomorrow. And then <laughs> if you look away from the NPC when you get this egg, this happens for some reason. I've got no idea why. Yeah, I love the felonious flaw. Yeah, you just, this egg spawns underneath <laughs> you. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to use that same kind of out of bounds that we used before uh, to get into the next level as well. We're going to jump up on this bridge. Yeah, Bamboo Terrace is like right next to here, so it's pretty easy to just glide there. Yep. Again, portal underneath. Yep. So th this level, there's a few different ways that you can get to the end. What are you going to be going for? I'll do bug, and bug. then if I don't get it, I'll do the boulder. boulder I yeah, guess. okay. Yeah. I won't go for the cliff. It's yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so, it, oh, nice so you can proxy off that little ant thing and go like the back way around the level, but it's yeah. quite hard. And you land up is really random in how it moves, so you, it's not even always possible. Yeah. Oh, I did. Wow. Okay. That's fine. I'll go this yeah, Dak tried to get himself squeezed in between the wall and the boulder, which again is prevent as like a soft lock prevention mechanism. Uh, the game just launches Spyro up into the air. Yeah, but it's not too much slower in this category to just go the normal way. Yeah. Shout out to Peewee, the best egg in the game. We <laughs> yeah. In this run. Oh, no, no, it's not in this run. Yeah. It's in this level, though. It's Tom. Yeah, it's Tom. Oh, yep. Also, just a random thing, it's always fun. Like, when you finish a level, this, like, portal, exit portal pops up. But in this game, the menus are so fast that it's always quicker to just pause and yeah. exit out instead. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you box. stop monkeying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you normally will get a hunt another bomb. Um, a hunter will like throw a rock that you use to hit that target, but you can yeah. also just use the fireball power up as well. Was that four bonks? That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try and do uh, another proxy here, a squeeze proxy, to get over to the end of this level. Nice. Get up on here. Beautiful. And then volume warning, these rockets are really loud when they explode. Yeah, turn your volume way up as high as you can go. <laughs> Oh, beautiful! Music to my ears! I wasn't kidding. Yeah, it's really silly how it does that. It's even worse on emulator as well. Alright, one more level in this world. Um, Icy Peak just has a jump. There's no, like, fancy proxies or anything. It's, it's a hard jump, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is jump to brutal. The yeah, there's a mechanic a mechanic in this game known as stutter jumps, where, like, if you jump at the ve if you charge jump at the very end of a ledge, like, right before you would fall off, your jump just gets no height, 
And so you need to not, you need to jump like very slightly suboptimally. Oh, there's there it is, yeah. yeah. Good example, yeah, good yeah, example. Yeah. So there's just no height from that. It's ridiculous. You did that intentionally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure just, just, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we've shown the stutter jump. There we go. That should be okay. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a really tight jump. It's so easy to miss. Yeah, it's one of those things that looks like it should be possible casually. Like, they put it right there. Yeah. It's not supposed to be possible. Yeah. But it is possible. It's like... Oh, by the way... Also, shout-outs to Doug. Yeah, shout-outs to the great nation of Canada. <laughs> Alright, time for boss Numero Dos. Yep. Good old spike. So one really cool thing about uh, this game is this game has an adaptive difficulty. Uh, basically, the, the more you do in the game, the better you play, the more eggs you get. Uh, the game increases in difficulty. Some enemies will be in certain places. Some of those change around. There'll be more enemies. Um, sometimes there might be like a fodder or two in some areas if you're on the easy difficulty. Right now, Dak's on the easy difficulty. So spike is literally going to be two hits for every single one of the phases. Um, on hard mode, it's like three hits and four hits and then five hits, and it's a brutal fight normally, casually. Did um, I miss? That, oh, uh, it was right, like, <laughs> barely behind him. Oh, I got the bad idea as well. I can't get the triple. Yeah, so now that Dax uh, got his two hits in, we're now on the phase two. It's pretty much just pick up the power up, flame spike, pick up another power up, flame spike, and then you do the same thing again twice, except this time it'll be like a projectile power up. Yeah. God, easy mode makes this fight look so much easier yeah. than it normally is. Casually, like, a lot of people have played this game. You're probably remembering this fight is really brutal. Oh, I didn't get the glide. There's a weird thing, like, so I'm playing on the, the 1.0 version, basically, like, the first version that came out in America, and... There's a, a, a couple of differences that just make it a little bit faster, but one is that you spawn like on the edge of the arena after that fight instead of mm. the middle. And it, there's like variance in where you spawn. It's very odd. Yeah. So evening lake. Uh, this run is kind of quite brutal in the sense that the end, like the later part of the run, has a lot of hard stuff and a lot of luck. Yeah. Um, the first this couple levels of this so well, they're not too bad. But this is where runs come hard. to die. Also, the the scenery there is not solid, very low. On one yeah, it's it's crazy that you can just glide there. That glide into Bentley's, uh, into Bentley's outpost, by the way, is actually a lot harder than it looks because there's a speedway right next to it and his portal is stored basically next to this yeah, portal. And so if you, next to each yeah, if you miss oh, it, you're will... going into Honey Speedway. <laughs> yeah, which you do not need to be in. No. So this is Bentley, another side character. Um, yep. His movement is just warp. If you've got donations or anything, this is a great time. Yep, we do have $140 from Dealer Bread. I guess that reads, as promised, here's a dollar per death. Ish. That was a good run. Thanks for all the support and good luck to all the runners. Please put this towards whatever the next incentive is. Thank you so much. Time for another little spiel? Or? Yeah, keep going. Yep. There's love of love. Just as a reminder for everyone uh, around and on, on stream, we are Oz Speedruns, a group doing speedrun events to raise money for charity. For this event in particular, the Game Expo, uh, we're raising money for Game on Cancer, a charity which funds early career cancer researchers who are working across all areas of cancer research. If you'd like to donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. If you're in the Twitch chat, you can do exclamation mark donate to get that link as well. And if you're in site, uh, on site in person, there is the uh, donation jar and the QR codes around as well that will assist with uh, taking any of your generous donations. Thank you so much. So one thing that yeah, you would have seen, uh, Dacto, so normally casually you'd like hit two gongs with these snowballs. Uh, with the second one, you can literally just face backwards. And because of the way that the hitboxes work in this game, uh, you can jump up, spin around, and that pu that basically just pushes Bentley up a little bit. Especially with Bentley, because when he does his like attack, like his bot with the clock, yeah, his, it moves his hitboxes. His hitboxes well. go like that. So it makes the spin jump really easy. Yeah, you can also do a Spyro as well. There's uh, a lot of really cool places that you can spin jump up onto. Yeah, I don't think I do any spin jumping in this run. Maybe no. like a back up to get into Cloud Twires. Yeah. There are so, so in the longer categories. It, uh, yeah, it's a lot more important more. as you get longer in the categories, which is cool. 
All right. There's a proxy off a of mammoth what? here. It's not too hard, but if I miss it, it's a huge time loss. So. Yep. Oh. Okay. Backed up. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice backup. We're fine. Yeah. This this level generally you, get, you have like this gimmick of you have an ice breath. Yeah. Uh, instead of a flame breath, and then you have to me. like go around and. Um, right. you have you to like it's like slightly faster if you get a good proxy to go yep. to the right and go like out of bounds and into that, this room. Yeah. But I didn't quite get high enough, but I was thankfully able to make it still work and go the other way. Yeah, otherwise Dak would have had to like advance to the level, climb up, and then backtrack on himself. It's kind of painful. All right, so Fireworks Factory is the next level, and it's notorious for having pro maybe the hardest trick in the run. Firefly. Yeah. There's a proxy at the start of this level that saves like 40 seconds. It's huge, and is pretty damn hard. Like yeah. It's, yeah. But just like the bug proxy that we saw earlier, it is yeah. very I will, orange. I will reliance. go for it until I don't have any lives left. Yep. Yeah, this this level right here is where I'm going to die. This is the oh, great. No! <laughs> yes, I kept the streak going. That I'm, was insane. I've got a streak of getting that in marathon. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. It looks like this first try a was lot crazy. Of a lot of good pastries get reset in this level just to not be able to. I, do I was that. not ready for a yeah. first try. <laughs> by if you see him. I was just looking at the paper, yeah, like... I, oh. I don't actually know what kind of pace my TV <laughs> is at this point, so I... I not much... You can finish the run in five minutes. Ah. Two more levels, boss fight, and then another boss fight. All right. Lost Fleet is an escort mission, but if I do this right, I can skip the escort and make him just spawn at the end. Yeah. <coughs> It'll also be uh, something really cool that Dak's going to do in this yeah, level to set up for the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to, if you can explain that, that would be great. I yeah, think you can. yeah, no, that's cool. Um, so at the end of this level, Dak is going to be going uh, for a zombie glitch. Uh, basically, once we get the end of level egg here, uh, Dak will be uh, intentional, by the way. Yeah, Dak will, <laughs> <laughs> Dak will be going into the acid, um, damaging himself down to zero health, and then on the very last frame, uh, before he actually dies. Uh, Dak will pause the game, exit the level. Because he's done it, because he's done that frame perfect trick, the game will think that he's dead. Uh, and so Spyro will be exited out into the home world in a swim state. But going back to that swim plane actually won't put Spyro back into a normal state. So we'll see if he can get it. Nice. That looked really good. Yeah. You, there's a really nice cue that the controller vibrates every time you get hit. And so if you get the vibration as you pause, you know you got it. Yeah. So. But yeah. So you'll see Dak will, so you see Dak will sw be swimming, and then he will leave the water and still be in the swimming estate, uh, and then he'll go out of bounds because that big tower that was uh, right next to Lost Fleet is where Charmed reaches, and that's like 58 eggs or something. It's a lot, yeah. It's a lot of eggs. There's also going to be a really cool proxy here called Cat Proxy. Yeah. Uh, I am still zombied, which yeah. means I actually can't finish this level the normal way unless I die first. Yeah. Um, you can't Spider. use whirlwinds, and you can't. Uh, yeah, the game thinks you're dead. So outside of outside, there, so. outside of like terrain, the game just doesn't interact with anything. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that sucks. I have to go back around. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, cat proxy. There's a, you can get a few attempts at it. It's a pretty hard trick. Yeah, there's three up there, but if not, yep. I just have to death abuse and try again, and then I can go the normal way. For skill pilot. Okay, that maybe. Oh, it's close. Some scenery there, but yeah, man, they, it, it's a shame because these cat proxies are not super difficult. But again, they, like proxies are just precise enough that sometimes you just have days where you one of them will just be like a block yeah. and you can't do it. No, that's also not. So ideally, Dak will get enough height just to get over the wall. Hello, camera. Ah! I, that might have been good enough, man. Hurry, yeah, I'm no. <laughs> yeah. Hurry, Dax. <laughs> this is a speed run. Okay, that's, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're able to get the scenery at least. So yeah, a bit of time lost there, but yeah. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in this level, we have to open. We have to like open the door. And we have to go flame this uh, cat wizard. If I missed that when I was still zombie, oh. that would have been really bad. <laughs> that would have been up hilarious. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of enemies there to kill you, so... Yeah, but then you end up back at the start. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, you just get to show it off yeah. again. 
Oh no, I have to show off the glitch again. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go out of my way. Of, oh no, actually I, I died, so I'm at full health. Normally yep. you would be at zero health here because it was zombies, um, and there's a frog there that you can kind of go out of your way for. Optimally you wouldn't, and you just do this boss with no health. But yeah, if you want to be a bit safe, you can get the frog. That's it. I've had enough. So this boss is renowned for being an RNG first. Uh, yeah. So Bentley will throw these the ammo that you can hit Scorch with, and there's two types. There's red and green. They do the same amount of damage, but the this green has one ammo, and the red has 50 ammo. I don't know what they were thinking, but red first try is very good. Yeah. And the then the rest of the RNG is just what attack Scorch does. Yeah, the red is more like face Scorch, and you just hammer him. Uh, it's a bit more like a Gatling gun, sort of like... Uh, attack, whereas the green one will track on the scorch. It's like a fire and forget sort of thing. Oh, this is such a nice This attack he's doing is the fastest one. Yeah. Alright, this isn't too bad. Hi, boss. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a good score. Yeah. But again, it's just fully random. I've seen I've seen Pacers die right here purely from RNG. It's yeah. really upsetting All to right, see. Now that we've gone through the first three worlds in a vaguely intended way, like the levels were not done in the intended way, but the progression was pretty much as intended. You unlocked the next yeah. area yeah, yeah, intentionally, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will not do that here. I will not go no. into any of the levels. Um, this is why it is any percent and not 100. Yeah. The final boss uh, <laughs> is just like there's a door that you open Spiral. that takes 100 eggs. But uh, if you can get to the loading zone for the fight without opening the door, yep. then you can just beat the game. So let's do that. The loading zone for said fight is absolutely massive too. Yes, yeah, so this is helmet proxy and you can just launch Spyro. Uh, so the loading zone is just there. Yeah, the it's just but there. It like bleeds out of it's the like inside that castle thing and it extends really high up. You can just get there so easily. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you just like use some scenery to get there. Yeah. So there, is, there are actually ways to get up there with no proxies. You just do, like, platforming. It's yeah. way harder and way harder. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So this is a sorceress. There's uh, five different patterns, of, like, that you can get for all of these, like, only tanks three. and cannons. I don't know if I... Yeah, only, the, there's five cannons, but only three of them can be the first one to drop. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Is that... Oh, okay. oh no. <laughs> But yeah, th this fight is like fully mapped out. There's a lot of research gone yeah. into it. Um, but it's quite difficult to do like... Also shout outs to uh, the Sunrise Spring music playing right now yeah, on 1.0. Yeah, that's the like 1.0 version. <laughs> Welcome to 1.0 everybody. The happiest boss fight music you'll ever hear. Right, I should get another tank here. Yeah. yeah. So I got UFO skip. That's not going to get hit off this tank. Yeah. Skip's the last phase of the fight. I can just ram up with the tank attack. So time will be very soon. Not, not the 25. Yeah, yeah my PB is like a 26 26 20, No, I, I beat it recently. 26 oh, okay. So, yeah, mid-27 in a marathon. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Pretty good. All right, cool, thanks. Um, yeah, so Spyro games are cool speed games if you're interested. As everyone else has said so far, we have a Discord server you can join. There's lots of resources. Really? You have a Discord? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, or just come and ask me. That's also fine. But yeah, glad everyone uh, had a good time. Yeah, and if you like more Spyro, there's you two Spyro runs. Definitely not done by me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up tomorrow. Like doing the, playing the remake tomorrow. Yeah, so if, if you want to see what Spyro 3 looks like, what one, one in the remake, and two, when you get 100 eggs, yeah. you see that tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, come back. Right. You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley.